So normally when you create a website, there are some elements on your site that might be on every single page. And it makes sense to make a layout component that can wrap every page that we choose that incorporates those elements. So in that layout, we could have a nav bar at the top, we could have a footer at the bottom, maybe a sidebar at some point as well. Those things would never change from page to page, but the content on each page wedged between those different things would. So what we're gonna do is create a layout component in this video for our nav bar at the top and the footer at the bottom. And we're gonna use that layout component to wrap all of our different pages. So then let's start by creating this layout component inside the components folder. So layout.js. All right then, so this is gonna be a React functional component called layout. And then down here, we need to return some kind of template which is gonna wrap all of our different pages. So the first thing I'll do is give this a class name and set that equal to layout. And that's so later on we can style this easily. And then inside that, the first thing I'd like to do is the nav bar. We're gonna have that at the top. So let me import the nav bar first of all. And it's gonna be from forward slash or dot forward slash because we're in the same directory nav bar. All right, so let's nest that right here. Now below the nav bar, we're then going to have the content for each page. So I'll create a div for that content with a class of content again, so we can start it later. And this is where our content for each page will eventually live. Now we'll inject that later on. Let's just carry on with the template to begin with. So below the content, we're gonna have a footer. This will sit at the bottom of every page. And inside that, just a paragraph that says copyright 2021 Web Warrior. All right, so a dead simple layout. We have the nav bar at the top, then the content in the middle, and then a footer at the bottom. But how does this work now? Well, what we need to do is wrap our different page components with this layout component right here. So let me do a quick example on the home page. What I'm gonna do is first of all, delete that nav bar that we added in the last lesson. We don't need that anymore because we have the nav bar incorporated into the layout file. And instead I'm gonna import the layout component. So from dot dot forward slash to come out of the current directory into components, then we want the layout file. And all I'm gonna do is wrap all of this thing right here with the layout component. So opening tag and closing tag at the bottom like so. Now, if I save this at the minute and preview, nothing's actually gonna work. And in fact, we get an error right here and that's because navbar doesn't even exist. So let me go back to the layout file and yep, there it is. So rename that navbar, save that. Okay, the error goes away but this home page now isn't working. We actually see the nav bar at the top and we see the footer at the bottom, but the content of the home page, all of this stuff right here, it's nowhere to be seen. So we're rendering this component, it's looking at this home page and it's rendering this component right here, this layout one. So it looks at that component and we take all of this content and put it on the screen. But this stuff right here inside the layout component that we've nested as children to this component, it's not appearing. And that's just the way that React works. It doesn't automatically output this stuff because it doesn't know where to output it inside this component. We've not said that. Well, we want to output it right here, but how do we do that? Simple. On the props object that we get right here as an argument, we can extract the children property. So this children property right here, oops, this represents anything that is nested inside this layout component. So all of this content right here. So what we need to do is get this children stuff and output it right here, dead simple. Open your curly braces, children like so, and voila, that should work. So if I save this now, we should see all of the content in between the top nav bar and the footer at the bottom. So when we use this children property right here, it grabs whatever is nested inside the layout component and it outputs that wherever we decide to do that. Okay, so that's how simple it is. So all we need to do now is nest 
all of our other pages inside the layout component. So I'm going to come to this one and create a layout component around this div. I'm going to grab the closing tag and place it at the bottom. And then I'm going to do the same for 404. We'll do a layout at the top, place this at the bottom. And then finally, for the index page inside the project folder, we'll do the same layout. And then we want to place the closing bracket at the bottom. And by the way, I've not been doing it. It's easy to forget. You need to import the layout at the top of each file that you use it in. So let me copy this from the home page, and we'll go to about and import it there. We're also going to go to the 404 and import it there. And then finally into this project index component and import it there as well. So now if we come over here, I'm going to refresh. We do get an error, but it's going away now when I refresh. And if we go to each of these individual pages and you might need to refresh. Okay, that's not working. So let's take a look at the about file over here. Okay, that seems fine. Let me just go to the project page because I think... We have to do an extra double dot right here to come out of two directories. I think that might be causing an error. Yep, that was the problem. So now we can see this now part at the top here and the footer at the bottom. If we go to portfolio projects, same there. So all of this is now working and we just have a single layout component that can wrap any of the pages that we want it to. And you could create multiple different layout components if you want, if you have different layouts on certain types of pages. Just create those components here and wrap whatever pages need that particular layout. All right, so next up, we'll take a look at how we can style our different components because currently everything looks pretty tripe. 